Right, good day learners and welcome to question number two of our IEB June 2022 paper. Okay, so in question two, you can see here we're looking at Microsoft Word and they're wanting us to do a few things. So let's have a look. They want us to open um, and work in the folder named question two only. So I think I have it here in front of me. There we go. And in question two, we had um, question two, stow and so, question two, table, and question two, URL. So that's fine. They want us to open this document. So let's go ahead. And let's see what they want us to do. We can see as we scroll through a um, couple of blank pages, a few pictures here and there. Okay, fairly big document. We've got about 17 pages. So let's see what they want us to do. Note in this document, page numbers and or location of paragraphs given in the questions could change due to formatting or editing of the content in other parts of the document. For example, a paragraph at the bottom of page three could shift to the top of page four. Okay, so they're just making note of that so that you don't get shocked when these things do happen. Okay, page headings are included, right? Here they say delete any empty pages which may occur when modifying the content. That's not an instruction to do first, okay? Do everything else and then at the end, you see what's left and get rid of those empty pages. So, you can also see that it's been structured into page one, page two, page three, all the way through to the last. Okay, so let's get started. Page number one. They say to us, 2.1, for the entire paper, set the paper size to A4 and the margins to narrow. So what do we do? We're going to go layout. They want paper size set to A4. So size A4. And then the margins to narrow. Okay, so that will set it for the entire document. Now I know I've got those two marks. The next one. Manipulate the image for the name Stowen. So at the top of the page so that it reads correctly. Then okay, let's let's first do that. So you can see they give us the picture. That's what they want it to look like. So they want us to manipulate this, in other words. Let's get that right. Let's just do it this way. See what they want. It's gotta be sort of there. Okay, it's beyond that arrow. And that's more or less what we have. Right. Then apply the glow edges artistic effect to the background image. This is the background image. This is the word and this is the background image. So I click on that. I'm going to go to picture format and I'm going to look at artistic effects. And which one do they want? They want the glow edges artistic effect. So I'm going to go I'm going to move my mouse pointer through here until I get what I'm looking for. There we go. Glow edges. And there we go, guys. Then they say arrange the images as in the figure below, which I've done. And there's my three marks. All right. So I know I've got my five marks so far. Okay. So 2.3, they want me to insert page numbers with the odd numbers on the right hand side of the footer. And even numbers on the left. There must be no number on the first page. So let's go and see how we are going to do that. I'm going to start on the second page so that my page numbers start there. I'm going to go to the footer. From there, I'm going to go to page number, bottom of the page. And I'm going to pop my page number in there. Make sure you have a tick in different first page. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next one where I've got an odd number. And I'm simply going to go to the home tab and change the alignment to the right hand side, go to my header and footer and close it. So now when I go to the top of my document, there's what do they want, they said no page number on the first page. Have I got that? Yes, one mark. Second page, have I got the even numbers on the left? Yes, I have. Go to the next page, odd numbers on the right that I have. And that's how I get my three marks. Okay, so page two, let's go to page two. This is page two over here, the corner gallery. Um, they want us to create a drop cap 
effect on the letter T in the first paragraph after the heading, the corner gallery. So this one over here, ensure that the letter drops two lines uh, within the text and that the distance from the text is 0 0.1 centimeter. So I'm going to highlight that T. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to drop cap, drop cap options to make sure that it drops over two lines. And it's got a distance of 0 0.1 centimeters. Click OK. And there we go. Easy as that. Three marks. Then they want me to modify the style SS1 so that the text. OK, let's let's go to that style first of all. Home. Here's my styles. There's SS1. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go modify. Now, what do they want me to do? Let's see. Oh, sorry. I'm in the wrong one. Um, text color is purple bold and in italics and they want me to apply the style to the heading corner gallery to the heading the corner gallery so there i've got it already um this one i just need to take out because i had it highlighted there and let me just take you back to what it was and let's make sure we've done that bold italic Done. Okay, so there we go. We've modified the style and applied it as well. Right, let's continue. Let's go to page three, heading unstable. Okay, there we go. Locate the artist names highlighted in turquoise in the middle of the page. Convert those names to a table with five columns and two rows, removing the highlighting. So we want to convert this to a table. Convert text to table, five columns. What did they want from us? Five columns, two rows, no highlighting. So we're going to take that highlighting off. And we're going to convert that. Insert, table, convert text to table, five columns, two rows. We're going to click OK. And there we go. Then what do they want? Hyperlink the name Tori Stowe located in the table. So there, Tori Stowe. Um, to a website using the URL address stored in, ah, stored in that file. Okay. So let's go to that file. I'm going to open that up. I'm just going to copy that. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight the name. I'm going to go insert. And what are we going to do with this? We need to turn this to a hyperlink. And then I'm going to go to link. And I want to link it to a web page. And uh, browse pages. And I'm just going to pop the link in there. Text to display, they don't mention anything. And I'm just going to click OK. And now when I press control and I click on that, it's going to open up that website. Okay, so now I know it works. <laughs> right, let's continue. Page five, heading ceramics relief. Here we go. What do they want us to do? Insert a footnote at the end of the word relief, highlighted in green. The footnote text must read limited edition. Okay, so we want to highlight that. We then want to go to our references. We're going to go insert footnote and we put in there limited edition. That's it. Done. Page six. Let's go to page six. Right, Tori Stowe. Um, let's see what they want us to do. Locate the text highlighted in pink. Insert a center tab stop at 12.75 centimeters and use the tab key to center the text. So let's go find the text highlighted in pink. Mm -hmm. We are now going to insert a center tab stop at 12.75 centimeters. 
So we're going to insert a tab stop. It's going to be a center one at 12.75 centimeters. Nothing else was asked of us. And we're going to click OK. Sorry, let me let's just put a comma in there. And then we're going to, there you can see there's my center. And now when I use the tab key, you'll see what happens. All right. Didn't they say to us, modify the existing columns below the heading to include a line between? All right. That's fine. Here yeah, we've got our two columns. And let's have a look. We're going to go to the insert tab. Sorry. Layout tab. Columns, two columns. I'm going to go more columns. Just put a tick in line between. And I'm going to click OK. All right. So if I just resize that, there you can see the line between. All right. We're going to page eight. Locate the image called Nguni. Convert the table to a sorry, convert the label to a caption as seen in the example below. Uh, make use of the format painter to apply the same formatting as that of the bunny caption uh, next on the next page. So they want it to look like this. So let me just zoom out here a little bit and see where we are. That's the hello. There's the Nguni. Okay, so it so it is this page. Do you see what they mentioned to us right at the beginning that some of these pages might actually move around? Okay, so I'm just going to resize that. And they want me to convert this label to a caption. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to go to my references, and I'm going to say insert caption, and that's going to be figure five. What did they want from me? Figure five and Guni. So figure five and Guni. And then they wanted that 5,800 Rand. Let's just make sure. That's what they want it to look like. And anything else with that label? Make use of the formula to apply that as that of the bunny caption on the next page. Okay. So let's just do that first. Take this one out and then we've got our bunny and so i'm just going to highlight that i'm going to go to format painter and then apply it to nguni as well right and there we have that done then we're we're almost done right page 10. that's this appendix over here okay there we go um, make use of the file called Q2 table and modify it in such a way that it contains all the bags and the items and prices. Insert the table on the appendix page and calculate the average price. Right. So I'll have to go here. And what do they want? Okay, so they want me to go into this and they want me basically to remove anything that is not going to be a bag. So we're going to sort this by product. Um, that's fine. We're going to click OK. And there we have bags only. So you can see for this, they only want the description of the bag and then the item price. So let's go and look. We want this over here. And then we want the item price. And there we go. Let's see, is it what they wanted from us? Yes, it is. They just want these two deleted. So they only want and one, two, three, four. And then they want us to get the average. So I'm just going to click in there. Go insert, oh, sorry, with our table design, I'm just going to go layout, formula equals average, and a 
above. And click OK. And there we go. So there we have our average from the above items. Then page 11, the heading bibliography. There we go. Insert a bookmark called Biblio before the main bibliography heading on the final page. So this is the final page. And then we want me to insert a bookmark. Called Biblio. I'm going to add that. So when I go to bookmark, I can see there is a bookmark over there on the final page. Insert a bibliography on the final page of the document using the APA format. Do not delete the main heading. So just going to go insert, sorry, references. And I'm going to go over to my bibliography. And I'm just going to insert the first one. And there we can see our bibliography. Okay, and I haven't deleted the main heading as well. Okay, then on the first page, they want us to insert a table of contents using one level and the style fancy. So let's go and do that. Table of contents, um, we're going to go to our references, table of contents, and I'm going to go to custom table of contents because I need to make sure that the format here is on fancy. And I'm going to click OK, say yes, and there we go. It's just one level. It's not like two levels, etc. What do they want me to do further? Ensure that the font including the text table of contents is set to Century Gothic 11. So let me just highlight that, Century Gothic 11, and then just highlight all of that to make sure it's also Century Gothic 11, so Century Gothic and 11. Okay, so our last one for question two says update the table of figures. Update the table of figures to include figure five from question 2.3. 2.1.3. All right, so when I click on this, I'm going to go up to my captions over here, and all I'm going to say is update table. Yes, update entire table. Click OK, and there we now have figure five. And folks, that's it for question two worth 41 marks.